They are one of the most important natural resources on Earth, forests. Healthy forests help protect the land we stand on, the water we drink, and the air we breathe. In fact, forests do the breathing for the whole planet, like the lungs of the Earth. But while human lungs take in oxygen and put out carbon dioxide, forests do the opposite. Plants, especially trees, take in carbon dioxide, or CO2, and put out oxygen as a byproduct of photosynthesis. Come children, help me plant. A single full-grown leafy tree can produce as much oxygen in a season as 10 people inhale in a year. As for fresh water, forests act as vital sponges, soaking up rain and snowmelt before it all runs off. Tree roots absorb and store some water. The rest trickles down through the soil, replenishing aquifers and water tables. But around the world, the health of forests, the existence of forests, is under attack. Already, more than 80% of the Earth's natural forests have been destroyed. It's called deforestation. Hundreds of millions of trees have been cut down for firewood. Half the world's population still depends on wood for cooking and heating. Forests have also been clear-cut for logs and lumber, for grazing of cattle and other animals, and for the building of homes and developments. It isn't just human activity that threatens forest health. Wildfires, sometimes sparked by lightning, can turn a lush forest into a charred desert. So what happens when so many trees are lost? There's no shortage of air to breathe, but the death of so many trees may affect the quality of the air we breathe. Dead trees no longer absorb CO2 and other greenhouse gases and emissions from oil, coal, and gas burned for power and transportation. The journal Nature says these dead trees are now contributing to global warming because they're giving off carbon, not taking it in. With no tree foliage to cover or shade the ground from the sun, soil dries and loosens, and it's more easily washed away by rainwater and snowmelt, soil erosion that can lead to landslides and mudslides. The health of a forest also affects the health of all living things in it, and forests are home to about half of all known species. The loss of forests also means a loss of food, nuts, mushrooms, berries, and in rainforests, plants that are the source of many powerful natural medicines. Worldwide, there is growing awareness of the importance of healthy forests and scores of ambitious programs to save them. Recycling of paper and cardboard has also reduced the number of trees cut down. So have more sustainable practices by logging companies, which cut down trees more selectively and plant and nurture new trees to replace those that were cut. And many conservation groups are planting trees in rural areas and even in cities. Other programs offer governments and local people plus businesses incentives to manage forests through sustainable forestry and keep forests protected as wildlife sanctuaries and parks, ensuring the survival of the trees and all the life they support.